Hi everyone, and thank you for purchasing the multi-columns Shopify section by Quick Code. In this video, I'll be showing you how to actually use it. So if you haven't installed it yet, please refer to the separate video included in the package, and you also have access to a PDF link with instructions. So to get started, go to your theme editor, go to the page that you want to add this multi-section, this multi-column section. And on the left side, you can click on add section. You can either, you could search for it by either scrolling down and clicking show more, or you can search for it in the search bar. Um, we'll just search it for here, multi-columns. And a detail, uh, and the default layout appears. There's a bunch of options that we can play with. First here on the, on the left side, we have a section, we have the, the, list of all the different of the of the columns you can add up to six columns total let's get rid of some of these just to get rid to get rid of them you can click on there and then in the bottom right you just remove block just like that you can also just for testing you can click the eye the eye icon and it can just hide it from there um, now you have two different areas that you can add and, and add sections and, and update content. If you click on this section here, you have more global, global settings, um, section width. You have the option to, the, to, to update the title, to update a text block. If you put in some, some text in here, um, you can select the HTML edit uh, element for the, for the title, this is good for SEO purposes. Usually, for a title, it's uh, recommended to use H2, but you, but according to the styling and guidelines that you that you choose, you can set that up uh, differently. Um, scrolling down here, you can play with the ma uh, the maximum width. For instance, if you don't do a full width, this is actually more visible when we give it a background color. See if what if I have it on regular, then it usually aligns with the rest of with other sections of the site. If we put it in full full width, then it stretches the entire width of the screen. Um, and then content width max, we can play within that. What what width we want the three to the three columns or whatever amount of columns to match. So we can make them much closer together if we want. Um, this is how, this is useful for when you have about you know six six columns and you and the the icons are really small and there's no button so they can be much closer and you can have all of them align up nicely in 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 one row. For now, we'll just put this back up to something like that. Scrolling down, we have section top margin and bottom margin. All these and and padding. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but these are more global for the for the entire section. Also for the mo for mobile version down here, we can set a different tie uh, different font for the title and different font for um, for the for the text block that's up there. The the color alignment and so on. We have letter spacing and line height. Um, Setting keeping these at zero will use the default that you're using that you're currently using in the theme. Otherwise, you can change this to a different size if you'd like it to attract more attention. Uh, you could play with the adjust the le the letter spacing, um, top and bottom margin. So if you want more space between the title and the text block, you can increase the bottom margin gives more space below and we have the identical settings for mobile and by the way to view mobile like at least the general mobile view you can click up here in this icon and click on mobile and on mobile you can't have you don't have you you can't really show them in in one row because obviously there's not enough room so that they so they they stack Moving on down here, are the settings for the text block, which is similar to the title. You can change the, the font size, the letter spacing, the font itself, and so on. 
over here under column styling, under column styling, we can do uh, adjust global settings. For instance, if we want the text to align center, we can have it aligned to the left. Usually center is, uh, is, is preferred, but it really does depend on your style and, and, and the amount of content you have in here. You can adjust the, the distance between them um, more or less. This works in conjunction with the, with the maximum width that we set at the top for the content. So for the remaining items in here, I'll show you after we add in some, some different content. So moving over to add the actual content into the site, into the page in the section, you go here, you'd select the first column, which would actually be this one here. You can, you can add in an image, update the title. Same thing here. You can change the element uh, to an H3. This will also grab the styling that's set in your theme so you don't have to go in and adjust the things i just showed you earlier you can change the text block and show a button or not um, so for here let's just do um, let's say we want to show the features of your certain product so we would just put in feature number one you can put in this is the oops this is the content for the column of this feature. You can change the, the label of the button. You can also change the style if you don't want such a big button and you can adjust those back in the other settings over here, but you can also just make it a simple text link, just like that. Um, if you don't want a button, you could just, you just remove, keep the label blank and you won't have an, you won't show any buttons. Um, we'll just keep that there for now. And for an image we can put in, let's say we'll put in this image, like, like so. Then let's go to the other column. Let's put in, actually, this flower. One here, different flower. Let's put third flower. There we go. So feature one we have, and then we have a feature two and feature three, like that. Now, when we're all done with the content, we can go back to the settings and, uh, and like I said, we could adjust the, the, the font sizes of all, of all these different elements. Another option that we can have, if you want to have, if you want to display numbers instead of an image, for instance, if you have uh, steps like one, two, and three, um, you can just click that. You have these the the three numbers up here obviously it just counts up you can scroll down and use a different font if you'd like you can change let's make the text white and the background blue for example and we have something like that um, we can change the size if we'd like them to be big or small you can't Then we have an option for margin top and margin bottom. You can play that and it gives more margins, more distance between the number and the title itself. And same goes for styling the mobile margins. Now, if we had an image, let's bring this back. If we have an image, we can change the image. Now it's not that apparent here. If we go back here, let's change and put in an image like this, for instance. Scroll down back to, oh, where did it go? 
we can enlarge the image so that it'll be more visible. We can add the, the margin so it'll be a little bit more space there. We can also change the layout of the image depending on the image that you have, but then we can do some cropping there um, based on the, the, Im the, the image and the screen size. Uh, you could make it square, landscape, which this image is landscape, so it should, it'll be the same, or just keep it original like the image you've been. Here's the styling for the column title and for the column text block. So you can do make all of these changes. Keeping them at zero will keep the default, uh, but you could always play around with that. Same for the mobile. Here's the information for the text block. And for the button, you can also play uh, change the font size. For instance, if we wanted a smaller button like that, and a little bit more letter spacing, we can change the width of the of the button to be full width of the entire cell, or just regular. But we can also play around with the width. So if we want a really small button, we can do something like that. Um, we have padding. Padding is this is the distance within the element itself. So we can add in vertical padding, which will increase the button like that. We can do horizontal padding, which will make it more constrained like that. We could add border radius if we want rounded corners, add more distance between the text and the button itself. Same goes for mobile. And then of course, change the colors of the button. If we wanted blue and we wanted this one to be that color. And we can also add in a border, for instance, if we wanted a this type of style for the button. The or border width like so and hover colors as well here so we can play around with what happens when you hover over with the mouse you can make it whatever background color change just the border color and so on and then scrolling all the way back up there's a lot of settings here it gives you the freedom to do exactly what you want we can play with the section margins and padding to remind you, mar margins is the top, the area, the distance between this section and anything before it, or the bottom, anything after it. And padding is within, so we can add more space above and below inside. So it just gives some more breathing room in there. So that's it. There's a lot of settings in here. Um, we hope you appreciate that and it gives you the freedom to add in whatever you'd like. Um, thank you again. If you need any help, feel free to reach out to us at uh, in the support uh, section on the site. And we hope that the section helps you achieve your website goals.